welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing really well. My name is Rakita for those that are new to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video about what fits in my Fendi Can I small bag. So I love this bag. I recently featured it in my five current favorite handbags video and it's just a beautiful bag. Mine is in the size small so it is called the Fendi Can I small bag. The color of mine, I don't know the exact colors that Fendi used because it's no longer available. It was a seasonal color from the beginning of last year. That's when I got it. It's a beautiful brown color with the pink and purple studs at the top and gold hardware. It's got the white scalloped edges trimming. I love the color of this bag. That's probably my most favorite thing about this bag is the color. It's such a beautiful deep brown. I feel like browns come in so many different variations and shades that finding one that you really love can be a little bit hard but I truly love this color so it is a flat bag so it has one folding over flap with these two studs which are made out of plexiglass and basically you press it on the side and the flap opens up so the interior of the bag is a beautiful suede and this part here is for the top handles that are here that are attached to the bag and the interior has two pockets and a little slimmer pocket there which doesn't really fit anything. So the bag is made out of calfskin leather and it has the white scalloped edges trimming which is beautiful and the bottom also has the scalloped edges with the white trimming. The strap is in yellow gold and it has the leather shoulder strap too which also has the scalloped edges so it matches throughout the whole bag. This strap is also removable. You can pull out these poppers and remove the whole strap which is great because you can put like a top handle strap on it. There's just a lot of options and Fendi is famous for all their beautiful straps that they make so it's really customizable. So the strap does shorten to a double strap and also a long strap which you can wear cross body which is fantastic. So in terms of sizing and width it's 19 centimeters and height it's 13 and at this point here it is 12 centimeters. So this currently retails for 2490 Australian dollars on the Fendi website in this size however they don't have this color option available but they do have a ton like they've got a beautiful gray and all the bags have different plexiglass colors which is really cute to it just gives a little pop of color and the rest of it is just so neutral so in terms of functionality I think it's very functional it's really easy to get in and out of the bag you can just press the button and it opens up super easy you don't have to fumble with the closure get right into the bag the flap opens up nice and wide so you can look at what's inside and you can get in there really easy we'll take out this paper so it's easy to see and the dust bag the dust bag that I got is just a plain Fendi Roma dust bag. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get in and out of. And when you open your bag, you can see everything that you have in there. And also closing the bag is really easy. You just pop it back into the popper and you don't have to fumble around with it. When the bag has things in it, it's even easier to close. I also like that it's a long crossbody strap so you can wear it across your body on your shoulder. You can even double up the chain. So it's a great bag in terms of the strap and the ways you can wear it. I love a crossbody bag. So for me, this was perfect. I also like that the strap comes with the shoulder strap. A lot of my bags don't come with this leather strap and the chain can really dig into your shoulder and start to hurt, especially if your bag's a little bit heavier. So having a leather strap makes it so much better and so much more comfortable. My only con in terms of functionality is that the chain chain strap is a little bit heavier. The bag itself is very light but what makes it heavy is the chain strap. However, since you can remove it, it's not that big of a deal but obviously if you don't have another strap to put in it like I don't, then I have to deal with the strap being a little bit heavier. So when you put things in it, it will get a little bit heavy but it's not super heavy but it's not super light either and I think it's more noticeable because you can tell when you hold the bag how light the actual bag is and that it's the chain and the hardware that's making it a lot heavier. But in saying that it is really nice quality feeling so I think that's why it is slightly heavier. In terms of quality I think with pretty much all luxury bags they are made really beautifully. I think this bag is made really nicely. The stitching is done really well. The stitching also on the back follows the scalloped edges so I love the little details like that. And the, the the leather is really nice. It's actually pretty durable. So smooth calf skin is like lambskin where it's not as durable, but what I've noticed is that it's not scratched that much. Now I haven't used it as much as some of my other bags, but I've definitely used it a lot where I should see wear and tear, but I really haven't. It actually looks 
pretty much brand new so that is really nice and I also love that the interior is also a beautiful suede really nice quality interior too it's not just a piece of fabric or a piece of material I like the interiors that are leather or suede because I feel like you're getting a little bit more for your money it is really structured right now as you can see however I have seen people's bags that have really softened and this has just gone in like that I personally don't like that I love a structured bag and I like it to keep its structure so I have to be a little bit more careful with it and make sure that I fill my bag when it's sitting on my shelf so that it doesn't soften and it keeps its shape so it is calfskin though and it's not very rigid so I can see why it's going to soften over time another thing I don't like about the bag is that it's got no feet on the bottom and the bottom is the white scalloped edges so if you were to put it on a surface you do have the risk of it getting dirty. Another thing that I noticed about the bag when you fit stuff into the bag this here doesn't line up with the bottom so the flap doesn't line up with the bottom it sort of shifts to one side if your bag is stuffed and I don't like the look of that. I will show you a photo of what I mean and I didn't really notice that until I saw that photo and so that's what I don't really like so I try not to take too much stuff in here so that it doesn't have that weird alignment. In terms of value for this bag I think it is pretty good value especially in terms of price when comparing to other Fendi handbags. Fendi handbags tend to have quite a high price point so I think 2000 is on the lower end for Fendi. I think it's got a lot of stain power though because it's such a classic style and shape that I feel like this style could go on for a very long time. Simple classic square bag with the simple minimal logo which I love so I feel like in terms of staying power it really could be there and it appears to be becoming a classic. I've seen it season after season come out in different colors and sizes so it seems to be like it's doing really well um, for Fendi at the moment. Overall it is a beautiful bag, nicely made and I really love the classicness of it. It's super understated, not in your face Fendi which a lot of the bags nowadays are but you know it depends on the style. Sometimes I like that kind of style but I love that when I don't feel like that super logo over the top style I can go for something classic like this which is literally the tiniest Fendi Roma logo there so I love this. So now I'm going to show you what fits in the bag. So now I'm going to talk about what fits in this Fendi Can I small bag. So like I said it's really easy to pop it open and the interior looks like this so there's two pockets so I'll just show you two variations of things that can fit in this bag. So here is a phone case. This is a iPhone 6 Plus phone case. It's got no phone in it, but I'm just showing you for if you have like a plus size phone. So that will just slide. You can slide that in at the back. It's harder to fit in if you've got other stuff, but it slides in nicely if it's emptier. Then I've got this Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. So it's a smaller one of the two. And you can easily slide that at the back there behind the phone case. Then this is a smaller wallet that can slide sideways in there. And if you have car keys, mine is in the six key ring holder by Louis Vuitton. And I just pop the car key on the top like that and shut the bag. So there you see it shuts nicely, doesn't look too bulky, and everything fits nicely in there. So that fits about four items, four of the bigger items too. And if you have a smaller phone, so if you have an iPhone 10, um, that will fit really easy compared to a plus size phone. So that will fit in really easily. If you have something else thinner, you could probably fit that in there too. Another variation is the same agenda. You can pop that here. If you like to carry little pouches with your cosmetics like I do, this is a mini pochette. I just pop this upside down. It basically takes up the whole space though if you want to fill it in a pouch. Um, then you could fit a card holder in there too. And then maybe your car keys which would be an essential for me. So I'll try fit that in there too. As you can see that sort of stretched out and made it a bit more bulky and I don't think my phone would oh yes you can fit my phone fits back there too so pop the car keys to the side and then we'll close this up this is going to be a little bit tougher and this is what I was meaning by it not lining up straight because we've got more stuff on one side it's stretched out so now you can see that this no longer lines up with the bottom so if you're going to put a lot more stuff just be aware that that's going to look a bit different but for example if I took out this agenda and just had my keys in there that would fit much nicer and you wouldn't have that problem where it doesn't sit 
straight across. So the bag fits the essentials, but I wouldn't say it fits a whole lot of stuff. And it's definitely a bag where you have to place everything properly to get the most use out of it, especially because of this middle flap makes it a little bit harder. Personally, I wouldn't put a pouch in. I would just put my items in separately so that I could fit maybe a bigger wallet or fit like my agenda if I wanted to. But overall, it fits a decent amount, but it's not a super big bag. I think for it being a small bag, it fits quite a decent amount, but it could definitely fit a little bit more things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Fendi Can I handbag. And I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye.